Yunyeonggen's Umbermark exhibition presents the process of searching for the core value of Yunyeonggen's art by studying the compositional characteristics and the artist's viewpoint. The traces of ultramarine and burnt umber brushstroke. This is Yunyeonggen's serene formative language expressed in his distinct style. Nyongan places the canvas on the floor and repeats the process of applying and drying paint diluted in oil. The brush strokes are the only composition shown in the painting. Each piece is differed by the opacity and the bleeding of the paint. The works from the 70s and the 80s show two or three widely standing pillars that are strongly bled into the canvas. Then in the 90s, the pillars have cleaner edge and the color changed from burnt umber to pitch black. Myungun's humble artworks are closely linked with his biography, social surroundings, and artistic viewpoints. Yunyeonggun, born in Cheongju in 1928, lived through a tumultuous period when the Korean War and Yushin regime were in power. In 1950, he was arrested by the Broadcasting Association for being part of a protest and was nearly executed. In 1956, he was imprisoned in Sodemun prison because he was unable to flee and was forced to work for the North Korean army. Then in 1973, he was arrested for violating the Anti-Communist Act after bringing up a case of illicit admission at the school where he was employed. Nyongun responded to the challenging reality by not directly confronting, but through his paintings. The brushstrokes that flow, spread, and seep into the surface and the sides of the painting are what make up his work. In this way, Nyongun's paintings can be seen as a trajectory of life, and also awaken our spirit of the age with the same cultural nostalgia. Meanwhile, Yunyeonggun's painting go beyond documenting reality and embrace the aesthetic and spiritual dimensions. Yunyeonggun's natural instinct of growing independently in an uncontrived way was reflected in his art and life through Lao Tzu's principle of leaving nature as it is. The depiction of land and sky through ultramarine blue and burnt umber and cloth and the composition of gate of heaven and earth symbolizing nature reflects the artist's pursuit of everlasting beauty given by nature. The visual elements imply not only the aesthetic aspect, but also the artist's spiritual awakening. He was awakened by the cycle of nature, where all things eventually return to the earth. Yunyeonggun had an unusual experience of having life on the verge of death, and the trace of that experience is reflected in his art. Artworks from the 70s and 80s are heavily seeped and stained with paint, and imply the artist's fear and resentment towards the unexpected experience of death. In the 90s, the paintings are accentuated with refined black colors and appeared as if it is facing the impending death of the future with composure. Yunyeonggun's art, which began from his prolonged life, accepts and sublimates the tragedies that exist in life into the principles and beauty of nature. Thus, Yunyeonggun's paintings are like the light that breaks through the darkness, containing the pain of the past, but also awakening the future and establishing a new axis of time. When asked whether art is necessary for daily survival in the age of practicality, one can say that art is essential as a comforting and supportive element for humans and the world. <laughs>